hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele i am so excited to be with you all today and i hope everyone is doing wonderfully well as you can see today ghana akala is on the menu this very quick and simple snack slash breakfast is so amazing and the best part is that it's gluten free all right so here i'm washing my black eye beans which is what we use to make this and then i'm going to go ahead and soak it overnight if you don't have overnight you can soak it for at least four hours but i like to soak it go to sleep wake up in the morning and continue the process so this is the next day i'm checking my beans they are nice and tender so i'm going to go ahead and give it a wash one more time then we will um blend this we'll blend it until it is nice and smooth now in ghana we have two types of this snack one is akala and one is kosi with akala you don't need to take the skin off so i'm not going to be doing that today so i just added it to the blender and added water to the halfway point because this blender doesn't really require water but making a color you need to add a little bit of water to loosen it up so i've blended it for a while and now i'm adding a little bit more water and i'm going to blend it until it is nice and smooth shout out to my big sissy pretty nadu for surprising me with this beautiful blender i really appreciate that thanks mama so i'm done now so i'll transfer it into a bowl and i'm going to add some salt to taste which is the second ingredient this is only two ingredients next i'm going to whip some air into it you can use your hand or uh, um, a whisk if you don't have one of this mixes don't feel left out meanwhile i'll heat up my oil while i'm still whipping this up and i whip it until it doubles or triples in size and you just lift this thing out easily and everything comes off it but you don't have a mess and here we have the before and after so let's fry and i'm going to be using a tablespoon to drop this in the oil just look how light airy and fluffy this is and that's exactly what you want this will make your akala just perfect okay so we're just going to drop everything and you want to fry this on medium heat not high not low if it's low it's going to soak up the oil and if it's high it's going to burn all right if i share be no small can you don't want the inside to be raw and the outside is burnt that's not what you want so cook this on medium heat to perfection okay so yeah our akala is looking good i'm telling you growing up i used to love this the only thing is that i always opened it up and took out the inside threw it away and only ate the outside so when I go to buy it, I'm always begging them to give me the little pieces that they don't want. That's my fav favorite. But yeah, this is how it's done. We fry it until it is nice and golden brown just like this. So now it is ready to come out of the oil and we are as good as done. That simple, that easy. No giddy giddy that we cry <laughs> so yeah here we have it it is nice and done i absolutely love this snack with my hausa coco but you can eat it on its own just like that and now i'm making my favorite part yes just sprinkle it in there and you get your little bits of crunchy akala which is to die for your try it do not miss this when you make your akala thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of family is life's greatest blessing and guys ka onamini ochemi sweet mahabotu bye y'all